Okay, this is the start of Blood's Honor. To start this, uh, I hope the hunting goes well, you have brother. to go with We've whomever you went to do work with. So I went with Aida. So you just go back to her and ask her for more work. And then she tells you that Keela, he's called, has work for you. Newest companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. He shorts the old man. Uh, yeah. Thank you for coming. Yes, young lady. Have a seat. Have it. I hear you've been busy of late. Your hearts are full of grief, and my own weeps. Yes. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. The cycle of retaliation may continue for some time. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Aye, that sounds like him. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glenmoral Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. The witches didn't lie, of course, but it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies, it seeps into the spirit. I actually Upon thought death, that werewolves were pretty werewolves useless. claimed by Hirsing for his hunting Same. grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord. I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Okay. Sorry, I have a bit of gas. <laughs> Sounds funny. Um, okay, those brakes are for loading screens. Another change I brought to make. So video is better. So, oops, M N. The Morial Coven. We go. It's on a hill. We go there. Hopefully, there's the dragon. It's for me. Like fighting dragon. Two times. I don't have the dragon wren shout yet. Where are you? Uh, I'll just take your stuff. You go on with whatever it is you are doing. Uh oh. Some spiders. Okay, I should... Oh, you are dead too. Been poisoned. It's no good. I think it's fine. It just uh, wears off. So I do believe I have to go up. Unless it would go straight. Right here, going up these rocks. Anyway, um, I 
wanted to talk about driving. <laughs> now, uh, I don't know if you know, but I do a pizza delivery job. Uh, I talked about this earlier. Maybe you missed the video. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, probably two. What's oh, coming? Actually, yeah, I think it's coming up soon. I don't know. I, <laughs> I never plan how to upload these. Because I have the main quest going, but every now and then I will do uh, side quests, like the Idric quests, or. Okay, so. Glen Morial Cavern. Um, it's marked up, so it's at, just here. Get. Yeah. Glen Morial Cavern. Yeah, so, you know, when I first hit in Australia, you can get your driver's license. Well, your L's, you can get them, which is a learner's permit, when you're 16. Pretty sure that's the age. And you drop uh, your L's. Oh, I it's, quite it's not. Unless these witches are um, be a problem. Oh, I think they they want me to bring back the head, right? Uh, uh, that's what I. I don't want that head. I think I'm just gonna keep killing these people. So when I first started driving, it was you know the whole <laughs> I'm gonna be free, I can do whatever I want, and so on. And driving was just the greatest thing, right? I don't know. It's very fun to drive when I first started. You know, watching that top gear and all that stuff. Just, you know, <laughs> going fast and stuff. And it's a good adrenaline rush. Um, go fast. But, uh, actually, I, I don't think it's right to do it. You know, go excessive fast. I used to do it a lot. I must have been. Um, I have gone as fast as 200 kilometers an hour on roads that only have 110 kilometers an hour speed limit. Um, I was surprised that my car did 200. It's a uh, 1997 Mitsubishi Lancer. Actually, very good cars. Though, so if you are looking for a um, sort of cheapish um, second-hand car, I'd be on the lookout for Mitsubishi Lancer. It's actually they're not expensive. I got mine for around two thousand Australian dollars. It's about the same. Um, wow, feathers. That. that. Yes, so, so that's a very nice car to check behind the waterfall. Yeah. Right here. Oh, I'm anyway, driving. So, yeah, at the start, I was just looking for an entrance and lunch and trying to get everywhere as fast as possible, but. Over time, you, uh, I realized that it's it's not right. Like uh, on a racetrack, it's a different story. Uh, but on the road, it's more so about you know, getting from A to B than anything else. And I know it's I don't know, you probably know that and so on. And yeah, <laughs> but seriously, if you have a you start driving, you don't have to watch out for not falling into the trap of thinking that you are the best driver ever and just going as fast as you want to go. Which is exactly what I did. And I presume a lot of other people. Actually, uh, I. In my other job, I have two day jobs. Well, not day jobs, but I have two part time jobs. Um, the other one, I frequently work with a guy who 
takes driving too seriously. So he's always like talking about how it's ridiculous that we have speed limits and why can't I go 18 to 60 limits. And I mean, I don't want to say he's um he's an adrenaline, but you know you don't have the right to do things. Like you don't have the right to kill someone because it other people have the right to stay alive. So you don't have the right to endanger other people just to have a kick. And, and it's the same sort of um, principle with <laughs> driving. It's, you can't just do what you want to do. Not care about the other people around. And you see those adverts on television. Well, I don't. I don't have a television. But I've seen the ads of you know, the anti-speeding so on. And just, just seeing what happens to people, I, you know, they're not fake images on the, you know, the ad, but at least here in Australia, that's actually what happens to the people in the accidents, what you see in the TV adverts. And just thinking about, you know, just because you go, you know, <laughs> 20 kilometers an hour faster than the speed limit and have a little bit of a fun time. You, you could lose your legs or you could cause someone else to die. I think a lot of people take driving too much on the easy side as in, yeah, I can do it. That's fine. Let's go. 20 k's. And, you know, 99.999% of the time, you'll be perfectly fine and nothing will happen. But at one time, at one time, you go out, you're having a great time, you know, you're just going to the shops, picking up some more beer, and you go a little bit too fast, and you have an accident, and it can ruin your entire life. That's what I'm saying, it's, it's not worth the risk of what can happen, just to get an adrenaline rush out of it, if that makes sense. Yeah, and also, you know, <laughs> speeding fines in Australia are pretty heavy. They're like $300 for going less than 10 k's over the um, speed limit. And I got... Where have you been? I hope it was important, because it means you weren't here to defend him. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack your Vasker. We fought them off, but the old man, Godlack, he's dead. No, but they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak, and they will know terror before the end. Right, just hang in there with this. I want to finish my um my, <laughs> my point. Uh, yeah, so I went the one time that I got booked speeding was I was going to pick up some pizza I'd ordered. And that pizza ended up costing me three hundred dollars. And it's just, it's the five or ten kilometers an hour that you go over the speed limit and then get a three hundred dollar ticket for it's just not worth it. It doesn't save you any time. And over after a certain time the speed thing, it doesn't really matter. You know, you won't care at all. And, uh, it's worth more to spend $300 to uh, go to some car um, track and have some fun there rather than risking it in um, paying a pointless fine that goes towards you know other, pe other people's stuff uh, not so much your own which is what a speaking fine is in case you didn't understand anyway um, it's 
the end of uh, Blood's Honor. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I will see you when I start Purity of Revenge, which is either today or tomorrow. No, I mean tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. That you will see that, or you'll be able to if you go on my channel and watch it. Anyway, till next time.